And welcome back to the Morning Blend. It's our pet project. One great way to bond with your coworkers is to join forces towards helping a common cause. Here with some ways to get your workplace involved Hi. in fundraising is Heidi Boyd with the Wisconsin Humane Society, and you can probably hear Harmony <laughs> with her sweet little muse. Hi, little girl. Yes, she is a chatty girl. She's a two-month-old kitten, and she's one of about hey, a dozen on. kittens yeah. that came into the shelter Check over the weekend. Oh, oh, to oh. A dozen kittens. About a dozen of them. They're all named yeah. after the Smurfs. And so this is Harmony Smurf, and oh. she, there's a poet Smurf and a papa Smurf, and they're oh, all available for adoption goodness. at noon today at our Milwaukee shelter. Hi. They um, oh, have all been spayed or neutered, vaccinated, and microchipped, so they are ready for They're ready to go. They're ready, little for, they're girl. ready to go. And it's a good, snuggly, rainy day, so come oh, adopt a kitten Come in today. and get a kitten. Yeah, so sweet. Yes. I know she's so sweet, and Tiffany and I are both cat people. That's why we're turning into mush here. <laughs> oh, we just love it. So sweet, so let's, little. Let's talk about, you know, fundraising for yes. the Wisconsin Humane Society, Hello. how we can get coworkers and employers involved. Yes, absolutely. So if you My are turn. in an animal-loving workplace, if a Look lot of your Denise. coworkers are animal lovers, this is such a great way to bond together and help a great cause in the community. The shelter is always looking for help from our corporate um corporate community. So some things you can do, you can have a bake sale at work at the mm -hmm. lunch hour and give the proceeds directly to the shelter. You can do a supply drive, ask for things like kitty litter, puppy oh, treats, she's on my mic. toys. <laughs> um, we always take blankets, even if they're used, we'll wash them. We use them in the shelter. Baby wipes are a, a significant item. So you can do supply drives huh. and be philanthropic that way. We also have a wish list, an Amazon wish list on our website. Okay. Um, and then things you can do actively can together. You can join, um, make a team and join our Tales on the Trail walk run which we do every year in June so that'll be in at Veterans Park so uh, that's June coming 23rd. up it's coming up okay um, and we're always looking for teams you don't have to ask people um, for money it's an easy fun thing to do together you can bring a dog or not it's optional um, and it's rain or shine so it's always a great way well, to, to bond I like that you said you know you don't always have to ask for money because I yeah. think sometimes yeah. that's the hesitation that people yeah. have in terms of doing fundraisers and things like that is they don't like always asking their co-workers to pitch in money so yeah. what, what about jean days what are those that's another suggestion you yes. have yes yeah we've got a couple companies that do jeans hey. days so if you work in an employer where business casual or business wear is required right you can work with your human resources department to, to ask if they'll offer a jeans day maybe a casual friday in exchange for donations to the shelter from so, the actual employer uh, yes from the employer or from the employee so then your employees it's just you know it's a self-motivated um, donation you can give a ten dollar gift or bring in an item that the shelter could use and then in exchange get to wear jeans on a casual day. And Perfect. everybody loves, loves wearing to do jeans. That. Yes. Yes. So there's also ways to get your employer uh, involved too, like with, with auto withdrawal. How would that work? That's a great question. So many mm -hmm. workplaces offer campaigns, uh, giving campaigns, either through United Way or Community Shares. They can do automatic withdrawals from your paycheck. That makes giving really Super simple easy. and easy. And you don't feel it usually because it's pre-tax most often. It's right? Exactly. And if you do it on a weekly or bi-weekly basis, it adds up, but it can be really small denomination yeah. for each giving. So $2 a week can be a $100 gift and that's that's huge for the animals. That is really huge. What does all the money go towards? I know it's clear that, you know, when you give something off the wish list or mm. the, you know, something like that, what it's often used for, but how about the dollars? What, sure. what do you use those for? All of the same things. It's really, it's animal care, vaccines, nice. microchips. Plus we have full-time veterinarians on staff that spay or neuter every animal that comes through. We have animal behaviorists that will meet with each animal to be sure that that animal is a good fit for your home. Um, and so there's a lot of people and uh, supplies that go behind taking care of animals while they're with us in the shelter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see where you guys would have a lot of need. There's a lot of need. They and gotta spay and neuter them too. Yeah, absolutely. And that's nice because that makes the pet ready to go though. It makes them ready to go home and then they're they're happy and they're healthy and spayed and neuter pets live longer so it's a really they good do? investment they do they do they're huh. less likely to get certain health conditions later on in life because they've been spayed or neutered talk oh, about no. the, some of the benefits of corporate involvement do you think oh gosh wellness is one I mean everybody knows I'll try at again. least every animal lover and I can tell both of you are every yes. animal lover knows that me. animals make our lives better and yeah. so um, involvement like from that standpoint is it's a morale boost um, you get to bond with your co-workers Sorry. that's invaluable that leads to more loyalty in, in the company and then corporate and community involvement really helps your company um, establish a, a healthy presence in the community and that's just uh, you want to be a part of that That's mm -hmm. a good thing to be a part of volunteer she is opportunities yes. always available
Rebel, yes, Harmony, absolutely. Smurf, and how many other Smurfs you got? There's about a dozen of them. <laughs> That's why I think she's upset. She's like, where are the, my dozen brothers and sisters? I need them. I need them. I need she'll them get girl. back to the shelter and she'll be snuggling in oh. no time. All right, yes, she will. Here Very you cool. go. Come get Harmony. Yeah. Harmony <laughs> Smurf is available. You ready for your last close up? On the, at the Wisconsin Humane Society on West Wisconsin Avenue, 414 Animals or WIHumane.org. Say bye. Say bye. Oh, she I think she likes you later. <laughs> See you later. I think that you Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Okay. okay.